What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. For some ungodly reason, Zer decided to take an off day from work today. So, I figured I'd do this review for you guys instead. I guess it's because Bungie is preparing for the Raid Lair that releases later on today at 10am Pacific, which is 1pm Eastern. So, today, we are going to look at one of the new submachine guns that came with the Curse of Osiris called New City. And believe me, this thing lights shit up. This is one of the most stable submachine guns that I've ever used in the game, and I freaking love it. After I seen how crazy stable it was, I had to try it out, and well, you're seeing the fruits of my labor. This monster is a kinetic submachine gun that fires at an RPM of 900, an impact of 20, so it's on the higher rate of fire, lower impact archetype. It has a range and stability of 49, a reload speed of 53, and a handling of 57. As for its hidden stats, it has a zoom of 12, an inventory size of 43, an aim assist of 45, and recoil direction of 81. Now, when it comes to submachine guns, I want the most stable gun that I can shoot without any crazy recoil. And on paper, when it's compared stat by stat with the NEOBD, the new city has the NEOBD beat in stability, handling, reload speed, RPM, magazine size, inventory size, and recoil direction. However, given that the two are in two different archetypes of submachine gun, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two. As for its perks, we have adaptive frame for the intrinsic perk, which gives you a well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy. Then we have IS-5 circle, model eight red, tactical mag, accurized rounds, and then quick draw. The perks that you see is what I use on the new city and it is what I recommend as well. Mind you, this submachine gun is not an NEOBD, but this thing shoots like a laser and at good distances too. I don't know, it's like you're a tourist in Times Square at night with a cannon and you just wanna shoot everything. <gasps> fourth wall break inside of a fourth wall break. That's like 16 walls. <laughs> For those who know me, you guys know that I hate submachine guns in Destiny 2 with a passion. I'm not good with them at all. But that was until I got a hold of this thing and started using it in PvE a little, and then a little more in PvP. I ended up getting my new city out of a legendary engram, but I'm pretty sure you can get it other ways. I have won countless gunfights in PvP due to quick draw and then just keep going on to the next gunfight without having to stop except for to reload which it's pretty much crazy fast anyways. When it comes to new city with the high stability and quick draw this weapon is definitely a top competitor in PvP against the NEOBD and if you don't have one then definitely 100% start grinding for it. So if you guys actually have a new city, let me know in the comments below what you guys actually think about it. Whether you like it, dislike it, I personally like love this thing. And it's most likely going to be my go-to submachine gun when I actually do use submachine guns. It's either this or the NEOBD. And that fellow guardians brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.